Welcome back to our daily news update, bringing you the latest headlines from around the world, now let's begin. Garth Brooks' Bud Light Controversy, Country Singer Refuses to Bow Down to Critics, Brooks, 61, has faced criticism over his decision to serve Bud Light beer at his Nashville bar, Garth Brooks is continuing to take a stand against critics who have slammed his decision to sell Bud Light beer at his new Nashville bar. I think if you know Garth Brooks, no matter how long you've known him, always been inclusive. We're going to need each other, trust me, Brooks said during an interview with Entertainment Tonight on Thursday, so, I think that diversity, inclusiveness, I think what you find is our differences are our greatest strengths, the 61-year-old made these comments after he previously doubled down on his decision to serve Bud Light at his bar. Friends in low places, amid the months-long controversy surrounding the Anheuser-Busch-owned company, the beloved country icon also spoke about his hopes for his new Nashville bar and what customers can expect at his upcoming establishment. I know this sounds corny, Brooks said in an interview with Billboard. I want it to be the Chick-fil-A of honky-tonks. I want it to be a place you feel safe in, I want it to be a place where you feel like there are manners and people like one another, and yes, we're going to serve every brand of beer. We just are. It's not our decision to make. Our thing is this, if you, are let, into this house, love one another. If you're an a-hole, there are plenty of other places on Lower Broadway. Brooks Bar will be located in Nashville's South Broadway District, and he remains steadfast in having Bud Light stocked at the venue. Last week, Brooks addressed the media, stir, sharing that the core of his decision was based on staying true to himself, I get it, everybody's got their opinions. But inclusiveness is always going to be me. I think diversity is the answer to the problems that are here and the answer to the problems that are coming. So I love diversity. All inclusive, so all are welcome, he told Billboard. I understand that might not be other people's opinions, but that's okay, man. They have their opinions, they have their beliefs. I have mine, he added, the controversy with the beer company surrounds its decision to collaborate with transgender activist and actress Dylan Mulvaney. The partnership was promoted on social media, with Mulvaney sharing the Easy Carry contest to her TikTok, leading to entertainers and politicians calling for a ban of the beer. Fox News Digital's Caroline Thayer contributed to this report. Stephanie Jongpanon is an entertainment writer for Fox News Digital. Story tips can be sent to stephanie.jong at fox.com and on Twitter at sjongpanon. Subscribe to my YouTube news channel now. Providing accurate and reliable information on the latest hot events. Join the community for exchanging opinions and learning from each other. Hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to never miss out on the latest videos. Let's explore the world of information together.